More now on our breaking news tonight. Bill Cosby, a free man tonight after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned his conviction. The 83-year-old home maintaining his innocence amid a firestorm of backlash. Harvey Levin from TMZ joining us now. Thank you, uh, Harvey, for being with us. First and foremost, let's get your reaction. When, the, when you saw this cross the wire, as we say in the business, what was your reaction? Well, it was pretty shocking um, that it, not so much that uh, the court threw out the conviction, but they said that he could not be retried ever again. But there is something to understand about this that I think is really important, because a lot of people are talking about this like it's a technicality. It's not. It's not a technicality. So look, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court did not say Bill Cosby is innocent. Everybody needs to kind of hear that. They didn't look at the evidence and say, we don't believe he did what he was found guilty of. They didn't say that at all. What they are dealing with are two issues. The big one is due process. What happened was Andrea Constant, who was the victim in this case, sued Bill Cosby and she wanted to take his deposition. He was going to invoke his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination and not testify in the deposition. The DA at the time, Bruce Castor, went to Bill Cosby and his lawyers and said, look, this needs to get resolved. Sit for the deposition and we won't prosecute you. So if we don't prosecute you, when we give you our word, we're not gonna prosecute you, you don't have to worry about your right against self-incrimination. You need to testify. He not only sat for one deposition, he sat for four. And there were times when he wouldn't answer and Constance's lawyer went into court and said, force him to because he's made this deal and there's no self-incrimination. So all of that happened. Bill Cosby said incriminating things in the deposition. And then the next DA said, I'm not going to honor this deal. I'm going to prosecute him. And that's the core of this. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania said, look, you made a deal. You can't, as a prosecutor, entice somebody into saying things that incriminate them where they don't exercise their Fifth Amendment constitutional right and then go back on your word. And that's why the court said, not only are we going to throw out the conviction, but you can't prosecute him again because of the deal you made. So based off of what you're saying, does it sound like even if you think Bill Cosby's guilty, even if you think he's a terrible person, legally, what they did was right? Is that what you think? Well, what I'm saying is they're saying that there is a due pro fundamental due process issue here. And essentially, they got him to waive his Fifth Amendment right, which he could have exercised by saying, we won't prosecute you, and they have to live by that deal and honor it. And that's what they're saying. But Harvey, my question is, we're, it's 2021. We've gone through this. We're talking about something that happened, what, 2005, I think this, this was. So why now? Well, because he went to prison. And once, and, and, you know, once you get convicted, you know, they raised this issue during trial, and the judge rejected it. And so now um, they have gone through an appeal process and it eventually reached the Pennsylvania. These things take time. And it reached the Pennsylvania Supreme Court and it was a divided court. They didn't all agree to this, but the majority did. And ultimately they came down with their decision today. All right, so when you think about Bill Cosby back in the day, he was one of the biggest stars in America, America's dad. You think of the Jell-O pudding and the sweaters and the dancing and the whole thing. And now you look at him walking around saying nothing. Where does he go from here? What did you make of the fact that he didn't say anything? Is there any way to repair his reputation? I mean, there are clearly some fans of him still out there. What, what do you make of you yeah, know, where I, Cosby goes now? I mean, he's 83 years old. Um, you know, he's almost blind. And I don't see Bill Cosby you know, coming out, although I don't know. I mean, Bill Cosby actually did, you know, come out during the trial even, and he was, you know, fighting. So I don't know what he's going to do. I mean, I don't think he has a career in, in Hollywood, um, but I'm not sure he wants a career in Hollywood. So, I mean, I, I don't know what he's going to do. I really have no idea. But I really want to underscore something, that this was not a court that said 
we are not believing Andrea Constant or anybody else. What they're saying is that all those things aside, there is a, a legal issue, a fundamental legal issue involving due process where prosecutors made a deal. And that, is, that angers a lot of people now, but he, prob he wouldn't have testified in the deposition if he invoked the fifth. And if he invoked the fifth and never said those things, it's unclear whether they would have able, been able to prosecute him. So, look, um, ultimately, everybody kind of heard what happened in the trial. People have formed their opinion. This is not going to change anybody's opinion about whether Bill Cosby did it or not, because the testimony is the testimony. This becomes a constitutional issue of due process and that is really the sole issue before that court and of course there's still the civil suit against him and as far as i understand that he cannot he has to uh speak he cannot exercise the fifth amendment well i i will say that in any civil lawsuit now involving anything for which he was prosecuted um and you know now that he can't be prosecuted again he can't invoke a Fifth Amendment right because the Pennsylvania Supreme Court has said that there's no jeopardy there. There's no ability to prosecute him for this. Now, I will throw a wild card at you, um, and I don't know this, but I am not so certain that Bill Cosby is not actually going to go in the offensive here and file a wrongful uh, imprisonment lawsuit against the authorities in that county and in mm. Pennsylvania. Um, I, I wouldn't count that out. I would not count that out. Well, Harvey, it's always great to see you. Yes. Thank you for the insight. I think this is a complicated thing, and it was valuable to hear your perspective. And also, uh, congratulations last night on the big UFO special that aired here on Fox 11 as well. I watched. It was very compelling. Thank you so much. You are out, really of, the, out of this world, Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I appreciate it. Guys. Thanks, Harvey. Thank great you. to see you.